by the Obama State Department, and there was a reason why no one wrote the article then, because you don't write articles that are criticizing Barack Obama and the State Department under Hillary Clinton. That's something you're not allowed to do. No, no, you can't do that. That's just wrong. So the New York Times spreads lies, fake news about Nikki Haley, and this is why the president calls them fake news. When you've got a New York Times headline attacking the U.S. ambassador, extravagant curtains, even though the Obama administration ordered them in 2016, and it's not hard to figure this out. I mean, the first paragraph of the Times goes on to attack Haley and President Trump's State Department because they spent $52,701 last year buying customized and mechanical curtains for the picture window in Nikki Haley's office residence as Ambassador to the United Nations just as the department was undergoing deep budget cuts and had frozen hiring. Those were their exact words. The word spent, it, by the way, is crucial because they didn't spend the money. They also, by the way, went on to talk about, you know, after five whole paragraphs describing Nikki Haley's spectacular views that she lives in and her leased $58,000 a month full floor penthouse with handsome hardwood floors covering large open spaces stretching nearly 6,000 square feet. Times now had to say, yeah, our bad. Okay, so the Obama administration ordered those curtains. But you should still be angry at Nikki Haley for this. You should still be angry at Nikki Haley because, well, Nikki Haley's there. She's a Republican, and she's a woman that works for Trump. So let's burn her house down, too. one 381 3811 one 381 I'll get your reaction to that. On the Mark Levin Show, Ben Ferguson filling in. We'll be right back. Mark Levin. I can't stress enough that you must protect yourself from thugs who steal personal information. Email addresses, social security numbers, medical cards, passwords, and retailers are being compromised every day. You can't stay vulnerable. It's why I switched to My ID Care, the best in the business. My ID Care covers you for the nine types of identity theft, providing best-in-class service. You can sign up at myidcare.com slash mark. My ID Care has taken care of Fortune 500 companies for years, but just recently made their protection available to consumers. Tom Kelly, the CEO, is a genius at personal ID protection. Now. Plans start for less than 10 bucks a month, and only My ID Care offers a money back recovery guarantee. My listeners also get 15% off at myidcare.com slash mark. Learn more and then let My ID Care take care of you. My ID Care slash mark, enter promo code mark. That's myidcare.com slash mark, promo code mark. John Hannity. Documents indicate that DOJ officials, especially Wolf and Andrew Weissman, you know, Robert Mueller's people, participated in unauthorized conversations with the media during this same time period. Evidence suggests senior officials at the FBI and DOJ communicated with other news outlets beyond the Washington Post. Means they are leaking because they want to politicize it and they want to get their story out to the corrupt media. John Hannity, news till 3 p.m. on Freedom 970. Portland's 
where are you going? Oh. He didn't have the money to pay, but it didn't matter. They put a lien on his home anyway. Nathaniel heard how much I respect Optima Tax Relief, so he engaged them. Optima got the IRS to designate Nathaniel's case as CNC status, currently not collectible. That's a big win, because it basically says, no use pursuing our client, there's nothing to be gained here. Optima kept fighting on Nathaniel's behalf until the IRS agreed to a deal that saved him thousands and resolved his tax debt for good. Optima knows that behind every tax problem are honest, hard-working Americans with families, homes, savings, and paychecks that need protection. They've resolved over half a billion dollars in tax debt for their clients. Now, if you owe back taxes to the IRS, call my friends at Optima Tax Relief. 800-499-6300. 800-499-6300. That's 800-499-6300. Mark Levin. Obama was going to fix the economy. He's going to fix health care. We know he couldn't, and he won't. He's a disaster. Weekday afternoons, 3 till 6 p.m., only on Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought Democrats couldn't be become more Justin, they're now blaming Donald Trump for post- Hurricane Maria suicides in Puerto Rico. Welcome back. Ben Ferguson filling in for the great one, Mark Levin, the North Carolina governor, saying uh, that uh, Hurricane Florence is now a thousand year rain event, will be helping trillions, and you heard me right, trillions of gallons of water on the Carolinas. We're going to have uh, keep you up on this throughout the evening as uh, we are seeing extensive flooding. Uh, the Cajun um, Navy is really helping out, saving a significant number of lives, lives in, uh, in the path of this hurricane. And Donald Trump has just given them a big thank you for their effort. Uh, as they are in New Bern, North Carolina, for example, getting a lot of these people out that stayed behind. Uh, many of these people that are being rescued are in mandatory evacuation areas, and people still want to stay behind for whatever reason uh, they decided to do. The other issue here, Democrats uh, doubling down on their attack on Donald Trump for 3,000 dead, trying to act like it's his fault that 3,000 people died in Puerto Rico. Now, representative from a Democrat from New York, Nadia Belinquez, I hope I watched that. from 